Welcome to ESPN for Recruiting Nation. I'm Phil Murphy. He is recruiting reporter Tom Van Heron. Tommy, it's guaranteed to be a big day for college programs somewhere as two five-star recruits will commit here in a matter of moments. Tom, we have number one outside linebacker Justin Hilliard from St. Xavier in Cincinnati and number five defensive end Jay Sean Cornell from Creek Durham Hall in St. Paul, Minnesota. Tom, before we invite in Justin and Judah, what would it mean for each of these prospects, or rather what would it mean to the program that each of these prospects choose? Well, when you're talking about five-star prospects, it obviously means a lot on the field and off the field. I mean, you mentioned it, the number one ranked outside linebacker. He's a big dude. He's tall, athletic, rangy. He's got speed, athleticism. You add him into a defense, and he can probably fit into most schemes. And then Jayshon Cornell, premium on the defensive or defensive line. Uh, these guys are, are big-time prospects that can do a lot of damage on any defense, and any time lands them is going to be getting a big-time prospect. But then you look off the field. These guys are going to be recruiters. Well, when they commit, whichever program they choose, other prospects will be watching, and they'll want to go where these guys go. And, and these guys are going to they are going to be out at the opening. They're going to be at big events trying to lure other kids in. So wherever they choose, they're going to try to get other prospects to join them, and I think they might be successful. Um. I love you, but you're not the one these few thousand friends of ours are here to see. And don't feel bad, buddy. It's not me either. Let's head to Cincinnati, Ohio, where Justin Hilliard, his friends, his family, and, and a fair amount of regional media have gathered, getting Justin Hilliard on screen right now. Again, fans, if you have any questions for Tom Van Heron, Justin Hilliard, or Deshaun Cornell, there's an area underneath me, viewer questions and suggestions. Feel free to reach out, send questions your way. We'll have you with these questions and maybe we'll have a chance to get to them. Justin, we'll get to your decision in a moment. But first, okay. what, has the, what, what has the recruiting process been like for you? Uh, the recruiting process has been a great one for me. I'm, I'm really grateful for the situation I'm in. I feel blessed to have been offered all the opportunities I've, I've been offered. And it's, it's really been fun. I've had a blast, whether it's with fans or through players or just, talk, just talking to people and, meeting and, and building relationships. Um, it's been a long and hard process, but I honestly wouldn't trade for anything. I end up cho choosing to cut, cut it short because I want to end up focusing on my senior season here at San X and also so I can go out. Well, Justin, your finalists, your, your final five were Alabama, Iowa, Michigan, Notre Dame, and Ohio State. What was it about those five that stood out above the other schools at all? Uh, really, really, every school has has their uh, positives and negatives, but I would say. Um, really, really, the things that stood out, they're all good academic schools and they all have great football, but the thing that I, I believe separates other schools apart is really the people there and I guess me building relationship with coaches and where I feel most comfortable because that's where I'll be in for the next four years. Well, Justin, now's the time to find out where you're going to be for the next four years. According to us here at ESPN, you're the number one outside linebacker in the country, number 13 recruit overall. Where will you play your college football? Uh, yes, first of all, I'd like to say a couple thank yous. First of all, first and foremost, I'd like to thank God for putting me in a, in a place where people genuinely care about me and want me to get better. Secondly, I would like to thank my family who's here today. It's my brother CJ who traveled in from Iowa yesterday. So big thanks to them. They've had a lot, a lot many sacrifices over the last few years in my, in my recruiting process. Uh, next, I'd like to thank the teachers, teachers and faculty, or teachers and faculty, uh, really for pushing me in the classroom and you know, making me a better student as well as a football player. And also to the coaches, especially Coach Beck, for really taking me in and disciplining me to make me a better football player. Also for my team who's here today, which I really appreciate, because without them, I'm not the player I am today. They're always making me a better player, whether it's competing in the weight room or making me just a better leader. And a big thanks to them. Also, I'd like to thank the fans because over the, over the last over the last years, um, you guys have been great. And, uh, really, without you guys, I'd probably have by two fathers on Twitter, my mom and my dad. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'd like to thank all the college coaches that have recruited me the last three years. Uh, they put a lot of time and effort into this, which I really appreciate. That's, that's, that's what makes it tough. Is every school every school is amazing. Every school has a, has a great feast, but I can only, honestly only choose one. Um, there were three things I was looking for in a, in a school of my choice, and that was where can I get a great business degree, where, can I, where, can I, where do I feel most comfortable, and where can I win a national championship. After much research and visits and phone calls, um, I have decided <laughs> to 
to stay in my home state and attend the Ohio State University. Ohio State. Justin, I think what the fans probably want to know, it, it seemed like from watching your recruitment, the whole process, you know, you mentioned your brothers at Iowa, a lot of different schools came into the picture. When did you really know that Ohio State wasn't the school for you? When, when did you really decide that was it? Um, to be honest, I've, I've, I've always been an Ohio State fan. I actually, my room is actually decorated in Ohio State here and all that, but um, I would say, you know, I, I chose to look at all the schools and make sure I'm making the best decision for myself. I think I knew on my on some of my visits when I really got to know the, some of the players and some of the coaches. It was it was almost an easy choice once I got to the end of it. And what made it an easy choice? What what stood out? Because a lot of times you look at prospects that come into it, a fan of a certain school, they don't always end up at that school. It doesn't always mesh. Yeah. So what what specifically meshed for you? Like I said, the relationships. I have a good relationship with some of the players already right there. And also, it, it seemed like the, the even the commits there are like really close down. They've all they've often reached out to me. And really, really have been great. And I, I would say definitely the relationships and the comfortability level there. Pretty close down. I'm only an hour away from my house, so. <coughs> well, congratulations on the commitment. I know Ohio State fans are excited to hear this news. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Justin and Tom, hang tight. We want to bring both of you back in a few minutes, but for now. Running up north, going up to Creighton, Durham Hall, and St. Paul, Minnesota, get Jay Sean Cornell.